Okay, if you've had a calf tear or even Achilles problem, maybe you've even had surgery on that Achilles and you've been doing lots of calf strengthening work, you've done all your program and you're gonna try and now return to running or even to sport, then listen up, I've got some stuff for you to try and bridge that gap. And this is especially important for you, John and Emma, you know who you are, this one's for you. So most of you who are trying to return from calf strengthening to running will still maybe have a lack of bulk in the gastroc muscle, okay? Very common stuff. You might say, oh my God, that's me. I am struggling with bulk. My muscles atrophied. I can't get it bigger. That is one thing that's going to hold you back for when you're running. Okay. And if you are struggling with that, I've got a little tip. Before I give you these three things to running, I'll give you a tip on your calf raises because you're going to have to still keep doing that work. This is for people like you've been doing calf rehab work to death. You're trying to go running now, but you're still lacking this. So you've probably been doing lots of calf raises. Okay. But if you're one of those people that has lost bulk in the calf and you can't even do a single calf leg raise, you can't get up on that calf, you can't even get off on the floor, okay, or you, maybe you can get up on well on one, but the other one is like you can get up but not all the way, then try this. When you do your calf raises, do them off a step and do them not fully single leg. So this is not the eccentric one, this is not where you come up and then go down, what I want you to do is go up on two, okay, but this leg, say, well, let's just pretend this is my injured leg, and this is my non-injured leg, what I want you to do, this leg now goes on a bit of a toe, so I've got about 80% on the left one, so I'm going to go up and down on the left one, but I've got about 20% of weight on the right, and you'll find that you can do calf raises a lot more, even get your 10 to 12 reps, if you need, up to 15 reps on that injured leg if you just put a little bit of weight, so an assistance on that other side. What you're then gonna try and do, so maybe you start at 80, 20, maybe you start at 75, 25, whatever you start at, it's gotta be more than 50, 50, is I want you to slowly get less and less load through that good leg. So you're, over time, over the weeks, this left leg, this is the injured one, this left leg is doing so much work that you basically can then go, okay, now I can go up and down, okay? So try to work on assistance from the right. That's gonna help you with this little process of getting all these other exercises done for your return to running. So, that and that. Now, what I want you to work on is trying to work on three things to try and improve that running part. First one is mountain climbers. Now, this is an old school exercise we usually use for core work, but I'm gonna get you using it for calf. When you do mountain climbers, what I want you to do, this can be a pole in the gym, it could be a wall at home, it doesn't matter. I want you to lean forward, if I show you this way, you can see the angle. If I want you to lean forward onto it, so immediately you're off your heels, okay? So you're totally on your toes already. I just want you to go from that point there, so you're forced on your toes. I want you to then push up a two and go to the full plantar flexion that you can do on that leg. Now, this is what we call triple extension. So you've got to have hip extended, knee extended, and then fully plantar flexed. You're gonna then try and take one leg off and lift it up and then put it back. And I want you to do repetitions of this and back and see if you can get 10 of those done in a row. What you may find throughout the time is you might start fatiguing quite quick. Maybe you get to three or four and you have to have a rest and then go again. You also may find when you're up there, when you're coming up, is your heel drops a little bit, and that's your strength loss. So you've got to try and keep that up, and if you, when, you, when you lift up, keep it up and not let it do this. So you've got to keep pushing up like that and down. Now you may find, even if you can't do a single leg calf raise, you can probably, if you've been through that stage of rehab and you've done all your strengthening work, calf raises, you can hold an isometric raise at the top of plantar flexion. You just can't do a full calf raise, okay? So you can still do this, while you're getting your full calf raise sorted, right? I would do lots and lots of repetitions of that, okay? So the 15 reps if you can, start with five, maybe 10, maybe 15, then you work on three or four sets of that, okay? Build that up, that's your first one to do. Second one to do is actually trying to hop. Now, this may seem a bit scary to you, but if you're gonna, gonna run, you'll learn how to hop. So I would use a box, a stair, something like that. You're gonna go from your bad leg, let's say that's my left, bad leg to the right leg. So you're gonna go from here and hop like that. That may seem pretty easy, right? But what people tend to do with a weak calf is they tend to push up, all right? So don't fall into that trap where you go, oh yeah, I'm gonna, 
You're going to hop up. Okay, you've got to launch off this leg. So start off very slow and don't put that foot down until you've left the other one. I don't mind that you're using a bit of a leg to do it because that's what you do when you run. Okay, use the whole leg. We're trying to get that mechanism of push off. So it doesn't have to be just the calf jumping up. You're going to use the whole leg. You've just got to start off really humble and just go that much. All right, and then back. As you get better, I want you to increase the height. So you're jumping and down. Okay, and it'll just force you to get off that leg. Okay, once you've done enough of those, you'll get some of that will be strengthening of that actual calf and the leg. A lot of it's going to be from here, improving that neuromuscular patterning to actually push off onto something, which is going to help you with heels and that sort of thing. All right, that's going to give you that movement forward all right really important one to do last one to do is a bit of a bonus some of you won't have many tramps some of you won't have access to trampolines but if you do this is a winner so if you've got a mini tramp like this if you've got a neighbor with a trampoline go there and use that what i want you to do to start off with is trying to get your hopping going because you need i was telling you that after this you need all your hops to be able to do your running so with hopping what i suggest i'll show you this way is I don't want you to just to hop like this with your feet on the ground because that's what you tend to do if you don't have enough calf strength. I also don't want to start just straight on your toes and trying to jump up and down like that. You're going to try and do heel lifts, okay? So you're just trying to get from heel to toe because that's what you're going to do when you run. When you land, especially if you're at midfoot, you land and you push off, okay? So I'm going to get you working on the push off phase and it's almost about the same repetition as you're running. One, two, three, four, like that, okay? Trying to keep sort of 50-50, trying to keep that your weight going from your heels to your toes and down. The tramps are very forgiving, right? It'll really help you with that push. It'll give you way more repetitions than what you can do on the floor, which is what you need. You need to get those repetitions going, and this will just really give you confidence to push off. Once you've got that, then you can then leave the ground. So you can increase the hop to this, which is going to do the reverse for the, for the calf and give you that strengthening for landing. So this is the push off, right? And then the landing is that one. See, it's going back down now. So I'm going from toes to heels. So think of the first one, heels to toes. And then last one is toes to heels, all right? Now, once you've got that, the last stage of that is then trying to go from Two leg, two one leg, all right? Because, hey, you've got to run on one leg. With this, don't just start straight away and try and launch into that because you'll probably be all over the shop. A bit unsafe. I would try and go similar to what we did on the box, okay? Have this toe here. This is my injured leg. This is a good one. You start doing this, so you've got some balance, okay? So I'm doing more load through that leg than I would if I was 50-50. Then you graduate to that. Finally, when you've got enough confidence that, you can almost do nothing, and then, hey, presto, I am jumping up and down one leg. Okay? So that's what I do for that, because at the end of the day, you're trying to build up your calf bulk with the first one we did. Then you're going to try and do your isometrics. Then you've got to learn how to hop forward. Then you've got to get your bouncing endurance, hopping endurance, onto one leg. So at the end of the day, before you go running, this is your test. Can you stay on your toes, Hop 30 times like that, count them out, get your 30. If you can do that, then you have got the license to start running, okay? So see how those three go. See you next time.